परसेंट Six is not that much important. I am leaving that. 
just glance through once. Okay. We were on few problems on these specific valuations, whatever we had discussed. Mr. X is planning to visit California, USA to meet his cousin and want some foreign currency. That is US dollar he wants. He converted 500 US dollars from the authorized money changer at rupees 82 per dollar and receives 41,000. RBI reference rate 82.5. What is the value of supply? How to calculate? If RBI reference rate is available, then how to calculate the value? Point five minus eighty two multiplied by five hundred. How much? Two fifty is the value of supply. Pure agent is also not that important. If at all you get the different, uh, what do you call the rates, as on different different dates, okay, the rate of exchange for currency other than Indian rupees will be the rate, will be the rate as applicable to customs. If that is not there, generally accepted accounting principle, the rate which you use for purpose of doing the accounting, you can use the same rate. This is for goods. You have to take the customs, the rate applicable in case of customs, you need to take that one. In case of services, generally accepted accounting principle rate, you need to take. That means Whatever the rate you take it for the purpose of accounting, general accounting, that rate will be considered. In case of goods, customs rate. Okay. If I explain this one, if the value is inclusive of GST, you need always you need to calculate the value excluding GST. How to calculate? We have done one or two simple, simple problems. Whatever the value which is inclusive, take that value multiplied by 100 divided by 100 plus rate. You, you get exclusive value. Okay. I think there ends valuation next place of supply very 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 important especially i'm stressing all these things important for of course new world scheme you will get one or two questions but for new scheme they combine everything and they frame one question like valuation they frame itc they frame rcm they frame time of supply place of supply, everything they will be given in one question. There are many things you need to understand and analyze and arrive at the correct value. This being the descriptive one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stressed so much. Since this is the descriptive one, you have to be very careful. You need to know few chapters thoroughly. One of such chapters will be this place of supply. Okay. Please take a break. Now it is 3.52. Come back at 4. We will continue with this. I think I need around one, one and a half hours to complete this. There are two for service, two for goods. Hence it takes little more time. Okay. Don't log out.